Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome. So glad to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I am Linda Israel, and I am streaming live here on YouTube. Y'all can enter the raffle that I've got started. You earn junk bucks just for being here. And so as a thank you for doing that, I have a raffle right off the bat. So if you want to enter that, just type exclamation point raffle. You earn junk bucks by being here, by playing the in chat games, by making donations, as well as possibly winning them throughout the live stream. Junk bucks can be redeemed for a $10 off coupon to my shop. So it's kind of an incentive for you to be here and to watch live. I want to keep this chat upbeat, friendly, and helpful. So if you have a question, please put it in all caps. If someone else has a question and you know the answer to it, hey, feel free to answer that question. If I don't see it, please ask again. Usually Robin, who's my right-hand woman, as well as Kim, and I think uh, Angelica might be here sometimes, as well as uh, Norella. They are administrators for the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, and they help me with my live streams as well as the group. So I'm very grateful to them. Normally, uh, 
one of my admin, which will be Robin today, will take notes and let me know information after the live stream. If it has something to do with an order, make sure that you go over to my website, lindaisrael.com, and create a, uh, uh, what is that, contact me form, I can get the words out, <laughs> and message me through there. That way I have your email address and we can correspond back and forth. What else? Um, hey, if you make a donation, you need to go over to lindaisrael.com and create a user account and then I will get you added to my YouTube donator membership which gives you free digital downloads mostly they're Daryl prints that I've created and a few things that Norella has created as well thank you so much Rhonda for your donation and also you get a 5% discount on your orders in my shop and this is a stackable discount so those of you that get a subscription box you get a discount on other items from my shop well those will stack together so you don't just get 5%, you can get 10%. And if you do the stencil club, you get 20%. So that means you would get 25%. So it stacks up and you do get some great discounts on my stencils and rubber stamps and other items. Thank you again for being here. I greatly appreciate it. Um, we're going to work on the punked out steam. This is the kit that I had last year and I am showing you this to kind of get you in the mood because next Monday will be punked out steam to T-O-O. -O. We decided to be also, you know, stunk out, it's punked out steam also, you know. <laughs> and so I want to show you really quick the planner kit. So this is what the planner cover looks like. Look at that color, y'all. I'm in love with it. This is a design that I drew and then Norella used her digital magic to make it a part of the kit. I just love how this comes together. She's done some colorful images here on the front. Here is the inside cover. I, it's gorgeous. If you get this as a digital download, you could print just that page if you want. You can print it any way you want. It'll also be available as a physical printed item. Thank you, Margie, for your donation. You're so sweet. <laughs> Yay, Valerie, you got your 2,000 junk bucks. Congratulations. <laughs> Always in the mood for steampunk. Well, my steampunk is a little bit different. I love color. I love the vibrancy of it. And so when I told Norella this was something that I wanted to do, she was like, are you sure? And I'm like, yes, I think we can do it. And I believe that Norella's images with what I do art-wise is amazing. So here's one of the planner pages. And then here is one of the journal pages on the back side. She even has a parrot or a macaw maybe and an elephant with a little steampunk hat. Of course, that's the back side as well. Here is a one-month planner sprint. Oh, thank you, Cheryl, for your donation. Thank you so much. Hey, and Cheryl, make sure that you do go over to my website, lindaisrael.com, and create a user account. And then send me a message, hey, I donated, so that I can get you added to my membership donate, um, a donator group. <laughs> You love my steampunk, but not a big fan otherwise. I understand. Oh, you still have this in the box? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Barb, you got to play with it, girl. Got to play with it. Here's another one of the pages. I love the giraffe that Norella put in. And if you recognize this hummingbird, Norella gave me the graphic. And then I went in and enhanced it a little bit. I added more gears so that it would have a little bit more, or not gears, I added more lines so it would be a solid piece. And you can get that as an add-on. Uh, it's the steampunk chipboard pieces. I love that. Here's the nether page. It comes with fussy cut elements with the planner. This is something we just started doing. You get some tabs, some little journal cards, and little elements that you can use, a little pocket. And then you get some more journal cards and some little flags over here. So that is the planner kit. I'm just kind of putting this aside for a moment. And then here is the subscription box images. I just I had to show it off because it's so beautiful. You don't want to mess it up, Barb. Oh, come on, lady. <laughs> get it out of play. <laughs> this one, the, the it's your favorite, Norella. You love it. Ah. Oh. Yeah, you love the chipboard bird. Isn't that cool? 
So here's the cover for the subscription box, and here's the inside cover, and then here is one of the pages. I accidentally forgot to change the paper in my printer, so this is on cardstock, which is what Robin loves. She loves a cardstock for the pages, so I'll get to make this in cardstock. This is another design that I drew in the background, and then Norella's added her beautiful images to it. So this is the different sides of that. It's the same, but reversed. Oh, cool. I didn't notice that. Oh, and in the subscription box, I thank you, Barb. Uh, this light bulb here. These are my subscription box items. I made that into a chipboard. I took some editing to do it, but I think it looks really cool and will be fun to paint, to leave as it is, to use distress oxides, to use embossing powders. So that's kind of fun. And then here's the other side for that little hummingbird again. I love this background so much that I just made a stencil of my own design, and I think I may include it in the subscription box. This was my prototype, because I liked the concept that she had there, and I made my own design. So I'm thinking a half sheet of this design, or would you rather have that as the whole design? And I will uh, see what I can figure out for the other page, the page of stencil designs. Here's the other side. Here's another page, another page, and then you get four fussy cut elements with this kit. So there's one, there's two, she's even got some glasses in here. She's got the little elephants. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. A gatekeeper wines, or wins, wins? Gatekeeper wines, that's what it's supposed to be, wind, wind. Oh, thank you, Steph, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good idea. Get a light bulb. Good idea. Yeah, exactly, Margie. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting me. I greatly appreciate it. You love it, Norella, how it turned out? It, the, the kit is not available yet. It will be Monday. The uh, chipboards, not this part. This part comes in the kit. This is part of the uh, Punked Out Steam 2 kit. And so you'll get that chipboard and I have to show one more at least and you get an elephant as well that I made I made all of that I it took a bunch of images and put them together and kept playing with it you also get this dream I made a full sheet this time of chipboard elements for the kit and then here is a bee it's got one little hanger on it's got a hanging chad if you get a stencil or a chipboard with a hanging chad, you're welcome. It's a bonus. <laughs> this bee. I love how this bee turned out. It's, this bee was used in the steampunk kit, and it's colored, and I like how it turned out. And then you also get some keys and gears. So I'm going to show you a couple of the keys. Anyhow, I'm just giving you a quick preview of some of the items that will be in the subscription box. It'll be available Monday. Name the bee, Chad, exactly. You love the dream. Thank you. Thank you so much. You love the Ellie. Any fun? Uh, yes, Stephanie, you are signed up for this. Yes, yes, yes. And Stephanie, in fact, I've sent you messages because I think you get three of these kits. Do you get a certain amount of junk bucks for being here? You just get junk bucks. I can't tell you exactly how much you get, but you do get them. Giovanna says it is buffering, and I apologize. I have contacted my service provider again. He tried to give me the runaround, and I said, look, you're starting to make me mad. Please put me down that we're having technical issues, and I want it worked on. Because he was trying to tell me that 12 for upload speed was wonderful, and I'm like, dude, I'm not arguing with you. <laughs> I'm not putting up with that. <laughs> Rhonda says, sign me up. <laughs> okay, you ordered three. All right, I wanted to make sure, Steph, because you're getting three. <laughs> All right, so we're going to make my first page. I have not planned this page. The other pages, I have planned. This one, I have not planned. I decided to leave it for the last moment to do it. So, let me move a couple things aside. I have some notebook paper out of a composition notebook. Normally, it comes as a full sheet. 
I'll show you so you know what I mean. So when you get a composition notebook, if you go to the center, you can unstitch it, and then you will end up with this huge piece of paper, which is absolutely amazing to me because otherwise, if you use notebook paper, yes, it may be almost eight and a half by eleven, and if you rotate it and fold it, your lines are not going in the right direction. But with the composition notebook, if you trim it just a little bit, you can make that into an eight and a half by five and a half wide or 11 inches wide and the lines are going in the correct direction. So I wanted to point that out. Yeah, I understand technical support. They, you know, I was trying to be very polite, but when he was trying to be like, you know, mansplaining to me, I was like, uh, no, we're not going there. I want a ticket. Have someone call me. Thank you very much. <laughs> I did, Margie. I said, listen, we're not doing this. Don't give me the runaround. Don't try to mansplain to me. <laughs> and I was very polite. Very polite. He's all, oh, but you know, you've got four for your upload speed. I'm like, dude, four is not enough. You need to fix it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad you like Thank you, Karen, for your donation. Thank you, Laura, for your donation. Sorry, I didn't see it a moment ago. And Steph and Barb and Cheryl and Margie and Rhonda, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so I have the Big Gears stencil from... I need to glue this on the front. I haven't done it yet. This is from the July Artistic Stencil Club. If you missed this stencil club and you want it, even if you just want one month, I'm okay with that. You can go in, sign up. Before you check out, there's a comment field. Say, hey, Linda, I want the July Artistic Stencil Club as my first kit, and I will send it out. And then you get notifications before it sends out again. And you can decide if you want to cancel it or if you just want to go ahead and let it go, okay? Thank you so much for your support, y'all. I greatly appreciate it. All right, so I've got the large gears. I'm just going to grab a couple of colors of Tattered Angels. I've got uh, from the Positive Blue, which kind of looks a lot like the Frosted Steam, but it's a little different color. And I think I saw Pop Rocks. You know what I didn't do in this kit is I didn't use a lot of yellow. So let me see if I can find, I do, I have So Golden, that's a yellow, it's a pale yellow. Maybe we've got, what else do I have? Oh, I've got Out to Sea Sunny Day. So I've got two different uh, Tattered Angels kits. By the way, I sell kits of six, and they are themed to match the subscription boxes. Thank you so much, Lori, for your donation. But I find that they kind of mix really well with the other kits. So I've got Out to Sea Sunny Day. And then from the So Artsy, I've got So Golden. And I think that'll make a good coloring. I was going to use the teal, but I changed my mind. And we're going to come back in with this one. What I like about spraying on top of my stencils is that it causes it to resist. So I'm going to take another page and lay this on top and let it soak up the paint that's on top. Now there may be some transfer because I had a different color on the stencil. So it looks like this is going to be a little bit maybe teal or green. Oh, yep, so there's some green in that. It's kind of cool how that came out. I did spray the back side mainly because I like to see glimmer on both sides. So I'm going to flip this over and I'll spray this side and we'll dry it real fast. All right, so we got some nice shimmer on here. Try to get it out of the box. All right, so we're going to decorate this. We're going to use some rubber stamps. Maybe some of the chipboard pieces. We'll just have some fun with that. Mopa pages. Go ahead and enter the raffle if you haven't already. I like to dry my pages just a little bit because it 
when they're wet, they're a little bit flimsy and they could break apart. But we're just going to dry that for just a moment. All right, I think I know I've got this crown collage that I think I want to use on part of this. I'm going to grab a couple more stamps over here. Um, how about I've got this little ticket type stamp. Oh, you know what? I haven't yet done this one. It's the camera, and I have the word photo. All right, there's a couple there. And I happen to have, only because it's on my desk, and that's why I'm going to use it, is this green piece of cardstock or teal colored cardstock. And we're going to stamp the camera. I'm going to stamp it twice on this piece here, and I'll fussy cut it out. So I'm using Archival Ink and Jet Black. And we're just going to stamp this a couple of times. So one. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. And I may go this way. And let's fussy cut that out. I'm kind of contemplating how I want to put this together. All right, we'll set that up there. Usually I have all the pages done, but I was starting to have internet issues. So... I was calling the internet guy, and then it says there was this huge long wait. I'm like, seriously? So I didn't get the last page designed, but I thought, why not? We're live. I'll make this one completely unplanned and live. So how was everybody's weekend? Did you have a good weekend? I was. I had a good weekend. Busy and uh, working on getting stuff ready for today and working in my yard. I dug up a bunch of weeds and got them out of my yard. <laughs> oh, where do I get the composition notebooks with those pages? You know, I found them at the Dollar Tree, Valerie. Um, they're just a dollar at the Dollar Tree, and they have the wide rule. Sometimes they have college rules. Sometimes they have wide rule. It kind of depends. I have seen them at other places, uh, like an office supply when they do back to school stuff, which should be coming really soon if you don't already have back to school supplies out at some of your stores. One year I went to the big W as we call it here. <laughs> and I don't go there very often because it, they really just irritate me. But anyhow, I digress. And I found them for 25 cents a piece because they had them on clearance after the back to school stuff was done. And I ended up with like 30 of those. <laughs> so I've, I've been going through them. I think I have, I think I'm down to about four. Oh, I see more. One, two, three, four, five left out of my batch that I purchased a long time ago. All right, so we've got the camera. I like that. And what if we put photo beside it? That would be good. Let's put the camera back over here. I'll just put it right there for now. All right, so I think I like that idea. I think behind it, maybe let's put something. So, oh, I've got this clockwork type stamp. I don't know if it'll fit on my, eh, it'll fit good enough. Fit good enough. Good enough. All right, so I'm going to get a scrap of paper and we're going to ink this up where it's kind of coming off the page. Yeah, back to school is happening. Yeah, um, I have a friend that is a school counselor. It's a small school, but they are starting back. Her husband is a superintendent, and she is a counselor for the school. She says they're going back. Oh, I like that. What do you think with the, the gears behind there? And then if we do the word photo, get a... So what if we put that like right here and then do that like that. What do you think? Does that kind of give us a nice little collage in stamping? <laughs> well, and I'm using some of those from the Dollar Tree. Um, 
they they work fine. You just have to be gentle. You just have to be gentle with them. You can also glue two together, Valerie. That's what some people do. All right, so we got that little collage. Yes, you'll be able to see through on the other side, but we'll figure out something on there. I'm going to go ahead and stamp this again so I can put the stamp away. Clocked out. And there's a, this is another one. I, this isn't clocked out. This is like time or, hmm. Because the clocked out has four images. All right, we got that. So let's put this right here. And then the word photo. So we'll put that right there. I like the clocked out stamp too set because there's four different stamps you can use. All right, we got photo. Put that right there. I like that. Okay, so we got those two. I got out this little ticket because I thought it might look interesting. Since we've got this scrap of paper, I'll use it again. And I'm going to stamp the sticker or ticket or label or whatever you want to call this. And we'll fussy cut that out. Let me look. Steam. <laughs> Gage. Okay, so we're fussy cutting this out. Auto corrupt. <laughs> oh, you you did some avocado dyeing, paper dyeing. Fun, Lori. Fun, fun, fun. All right, so I've got those two. I like that. I'll put this back over here. And I'll put the photo back next to the photo. Let's do some distress inks on here. And I'm thinking that I may bring this back out. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Maybe we'll do that. Okay, I'm going to bring this back out because I think I want to use it again. And maybe this guy. Okay. All right, so I've got this over here. We're going to put this guy over here. What if we were to do that and that so I'm gonna put this as the uh, it's a new stamp set or new stamp in my shop no it's not a steam pressure gauge <laughs> I kind of like that and maybe we'll put that right over the top of it camera stamp <laughs> You used two more avocados for lunch today? Well, why didn't I get to eat with you? I love avocados. I have not done avocado dyeing, paper dyeing. I have saved some avocado skins. They're in the freezer. I put them in the freezer because I didn't want to do it right away. All right, we'll put that right here. Like that. All right, we're done with this side. I'm going to flip it over. Oh, because she's in Australia, Lori. Julie's in Australia, and they're having their winter right now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp this clock type image as soon as I figure out. Let's use this one on this side. I'm just going to kind of position it over the other because it kind of bleeds through. Oh, yeah. 
Tulip twine stamp. There you go. Thank you. Winter down under. Sydney, Australia. If I had the money, there was a cruise that you flew to Australia and then they cruise somewhere around Australia. And I was like, oh, that would be amazing. But it was really expensive. Okay, so we got this guy. Oh, and I really want to use this collage. Let's use this stamp. Put this back over here. I think I'll do it on that teal paper again. All right, so I'm just going to ink this up and stamp it twice. And cut it out. Cut it out now. Cut it out. There is a Jung Joe Cruise somewhere. That would be awesome. 106 is hot. Hot, hot, hot. It's been hot here. I don't think it's supposed to be up in the 100 this week. Uh, last week they kept saying it was going to be a hundred, but it stayed in the upper nineties. And my friend uh, Betts that lives in Phoenix, Arizona, they get super hot temperatures in their summers. I don't know that I could live there. I would die. Of course, their winters are very mild compared to mine here in Oklahoma. All right, so there's that guy. And I'm thinking maybe we'll put him like this. What do you think? Doesn't need a whole bunch of stuffs if you don't want to. Just a few things. Okay. All right, so I got those two. Let's put some distress inks on them. Put that guy back here. All right, where'd my thing go? I lost my thing. You have no passport? You've seen 125 there in a row? Holy cow, that's a crazy. Well, maybe after this coronavirus stuff goes away, they have made some new rulings here that you cannot be in public without a mask on. They still have the limit on groups. It's a little frustrating to be able to do anything. All right, I think I'm going to put this guy right there. I think that looks kind of cute. Oh, yeah, humidity is terrible. You got some rain in the mountains in Phoenix. I can imagine. It gets hot. Yeah, you're, those are good reasons not to travel. The, the temperatures are too hot. Hot, hot, hot. Go ahead and glue this one down. Nib stamps galore can be found here. <laughs> I love that, Robin. Thank you. <laughs> The heat index is 102, Ruth. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hot, hot, hot. All right, so now I've got this little crown collage. And we'll stamp this guy over here. Let's stamp this one. All right, so... It seems like every side I've put a little something, so we need a little something on there. So how about, I'll look, I'll look through these stamps real fast. See if there's one that just kind of speaks out to us. Oh, this one might be kind of cool. Yeah, let's do that one. This is part of the set. I think it's like the ministries, ministries of something set. kind of looks royal, if you will, like a crest or a seal. A 
coat of arms, maybe? Teasing you with all those stamps, Barb. That's what I do. Yeah, I stay inside when it's crafty, when it's hot out hot. Yeah, it's it's no fun. I go out early in the morning and we'll work on a few things and water or I will water late in the evening because it gets so hot. It's just too hot. Okay. What do you think? That would be kind of cute right there. Yeah. Alright, so we are just about finished with the very first page. And then we're going to go on to all the other pages. What are some of your favorite summertime? I know Julie's in winter, but what are some of your favorite summertime activities? Even if it's staying indoors because you just, you know, it's too hot. What do you like to do? For summertime activities. Love to hear what you have to say. Or read it. Ministry does transport cube rubber stamps. Yes, that one. I think that is right. I think that's where this one is from. Oh, there's a boss fight. Thank you, Robin. Okay. We'll glue that down, glue it down, glue it down. All right, page complete. It's dry now. Can you hear the crinkle? The tires weren't melting on the road. <laughs> Staying in the house and playing on the computer. Kayaking. Ooh, I like to kayak. I haven't done it in a long time. Sitting outside and reading. Oh, that's wonderful, Jeanette, to be able to do that. All right, first one done. Set this in my pile over here. And let's get the next one. I put uh, all the items I need in a little Ziploc bag so I can find everything rather quickly. Hey, Henry. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. This bag up here. All right, so here's all the goodies that I have. I have a... Um, sheet music here. I've got some rubber stamps and then I've got some elements from the punked out steam kit. So we're going to start with this piece. So this is a piece. I think I have enough that I may put it in the punked out steam too. This was a piece that was in the punked out steam kit and it's a kind of a alligator type. Um, Alligator, you call it alligator maybe texture and I did sew it onto some cardstock and then I found this label this is a set that Norella made for me that's in my shop and I happen to have some fussy cut already and I thought that would look good across there so we're going to glue this down squirrel am I where'd I miss hey everyone drive by oh poke poke nudge nudge I see it now all right y'all enter the raffle and we're going to draw the winner I can't see my clock, so I don't know what time it is. I had something in the way. Squirrels amok. <laughs> Come to Branson. Oh, there we go, Rhonda. That would be awesome. I'll have to do that. All right, we got this. So I'm going to take this piece and fold it in half. And it did tear just a little bit. So I think I'm going to grab a scrap of paper and just put it over it. It's going to be covered up, but I want it to be reinforced just a little bit because it tore. Do you want to see the squirrel in the steampunk kit? <laughs> 
<laughs> it was Linda inspired. <laughs> Did y'all see it? It's pretty funny. What did I do with the kit? I'll have to pull it out again. I know I saw it on these pages. Where is it? Oh, here's one. Here's one with the squirrel. Do you see the squirrel? Squirrel! Squirrel! Alright, put that back. Alright. Y'all get it in the raffle? Or squirrely? Squirrel or squirrely? That's just terrible. How dare you? <laughs> Watching hubby on the house yard outside while I'm inside. Oh, funny. Our cracker box cottage creates. How hilarious. <laughs> Summer means street fairs, but not this year. Oh, I bet you missed that, Laura. I bet. I bet. That would be you know, kind of missing. You're in for the steam steampunk kit too, Sally. <laughs> Sally, you have like four kits you need to pick up. <laughs> You're gonna be busy, girl. All right, let's do the giveaway. I'm gonna get a drink. I got. I still have iced coffee from this morning. All right, the winner of 200 junk bucks is. Karen Owens. Congratulations, Karen. You have earned 200 junk bucks. All right, I'm just getting the next prize ready. All right, this will work. Okay. Reset. Yes. Go here. And we're going to do a... All right. So the next giveaway will be these steampunk journal cards. So here's where I use that new stencil in the background with some distress oxide. This little label piece is actually from the label for the large kit. You know what? I need to include that in the digitals because I use those pieces. I love using those. This is the cover for the be the $14.99 large journal kit and I guess we'll need to include it so I sewed this edge and then I took it and sewed the other three edges down and then this was a leftover from that same label used the same stencil here it was on this neon green neon green Robin's perfect color just put those in your order Rhonda says <laughs> Oh dear. Drink teen and wine soon. <laughs> wine soon. Soon wine. <laughs> oh, that's, that's terrible, Lori, that they've canceled all that. You're going to have some coffee, Julie? Yeah, it's early for you. And then this is using some of the chipboard gears. And I use one of the gear stencils from the stencil club in the background and I used from the clocked out. I don't know if you can see the clocks in the background and then the word gears is from last year's subscription box. So that is our next raffle. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm looking at this and I'm going to glue this down in this bottom corner. Love that cat, isn't it cute? That's in the punked out steam kit. So this will be perfect if you don't have any of the kits. You can get both. All right. Okay, glued that down. There's a gnat flying around. Gloss accent. Oh, yeah, exactly. Perfect idea for that. Put some glossy accents. This is one of those little tear-off notepads. And I'm going to take this and use this gear stamp and stamp the gears in this upper corner. And then let's do it again on this bottom corner. So we end up with that. And then I'm going to glue that down kind of in the middle. So over the top of the sheet music, you get some writing space. All right, we're going to put that right here. 
And then in this little stash, I have some, a gear. So there's a little gear. And I'm going to take some Versamark embossing powder, embossing ink, and just smush it to the gear. Smush it! Oh, it turned over on me. I want to make sure it's got a lot of ink on it. And then this is, it's a couple of different colors of embossing powder. It has like a, a teal and a blue glitter in it. And I'm just going to drop it down in there. And I'll kind of mush it around. Make sure it's coated really well close the lid so it doesn't blow around. Yep, I have the gear stamp. Yep, yep, that's a gear stamp. That's a gear stamp. All right, we're going to heat this. We're going to use the embossing gun or heat tool. Don't use, don't use such technical terms. <laughs> Smush, bye Norella. Thanks for stopping in. I think it's time for her to start cooking dinner. All right, so I'm just going to heat this up. It's going to start to turn shiny. Mush, mush, mush. Mush, 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 mush. All right, there we go. Oh, hey, Janice. Thank you for your donation. Ellen Robin, thank you for your donation. I didn't see that earlier. All right, so it's going to be hot, so you don't want to touch it right away. So I'm just giving it just a second. And I'm going to put that up here. I think that's where I want that one. Should be dry. Okay, it's cool enough. So I'm just going to put some glue on the back side and glue that down. So this is from the punk, Steampunk. Um, I don't know which set. There's two sets, so I just kind of mixed them all together. All right, so that goes over here. And then on this side, I've got little goodies. This is going to go in the pocket. That's for the other side. Oh, we need this guy. And, oh, I like this guy. I didn't use that earlier, so we may find a place for that. That goes on the other side. That goes on the other side. That goes on the other side. Okay. So, I have another one of these guys. So, I think we'll use that. So we're going to stamp the same concept gears. I could have done it while I had it out. We're going to rotate the stamp around and stamp that down. So we get the gears. You know there are going to be two journals given away. Well, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. All right, so I want this guy to be kind of down here on the corner. So I'm going to glue this down. Making sure I don't get into the fold. Because I don't want to fold it up. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this one down. Thank you, Sally, for your support. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, so this one's going to go right up here. And then we've got this void in here. And I have this uh, ornate label, ornate. Just put ornate in. Thank you, Joy, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. And I'm using Blueprint Sketch. Blueprint Sketch. I don't know if you can see that. Blueprint Sketch. And I'm inking that up. And we're going to stamp that right in here in between. Ornate adornment, adornment. I don't remember which one it is. Something like that. And then we're going to put the word steampunk right there. How do you use easily cracked, ripped paper? I would collage with that, Sally. If it was ripping, I'm going to make one in a moment with some brittle paper. I would use it to glue down and make a little collage. 
So what do you think? I left that so that you can put whatever you want on it. I do have some journal cards. So these are maybe from the planner kit. I don't remember from last year. And then this is from the, I don't know if it's from the subscription box or if it's from the add-on kit. These little uh, journal cards and a little coin envelope. Oh, hey, Bonnie. Welcome. You had a last-minute appointment. Well, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping in. All right, so that's going to go here. Now we're going to flip it over. Flip it. And we have the new side. So on this side, I have, I'm going to cheat because it's going to be, you're going to be like, wow, that's so quick. Well, this is a belly band card that's going to go from top to bottom. You could cut it in half and get two cards out of it, make a pocket out of it. I'm going to use it like a belly band. So I'm going to put glue across the top. And across the bottom and we're going to put it centered from left to right and it's going to go from the complete top to bottom of my page oh thank you mary thank you so much thank you mary ellen and that's going to be a belly band for a journal card so that side's done we're going to flip this over my nose is itching this is a pocket that I made. So I took a gel print in the background. I stamped the key collage or key. I don't know if it's key collage or key chart, something like that. Just type key in. And then I used the gears and I took a piece of book page and I mushed, smushed a distress oxide and shaded lilac. And then I stamped it. And then this is some of that teal card stock. There's one of those labels again. And I didn't glue it all the way down because I wanted to make that a little tuck spot. I did stitch around the outside edge and we're just gonna glue that down right here. Oh, the, the DMV was the best experience ever. Probably because you have to make appointments, don't you? They're probably trying to hurry up, get you through. All right, we're going to glue that right here. And then I've got a little scrap of paper and the word journal. This is from the journal quartet set. There's four different journal words. And I'll get my head up here. All right, I'm kind of get it centered. From top to bottom and then I'm just going to take my scissors and cut that apply some distressings to the edges you love that tuck spot thank you Jennifer all right we're going to just glue that right up there in the corner I get too many things on my desk so I'm putting it away in and out within 10 minutes. That's awesome, Bonnie. Great job. I'm going to put that right here. Okay. I'll make sure this is adhered down. So I'm just kind of give it a moment. The pocket's still wet, but these are a couple of journal cards that we'll put in this pocket. And then this is a journal card that I made. This is from the July Stencil Club in the background. I used Distress Oxide and the blending brushes to put that down. This is my uh, prototype of the bee. He's a little bit thinner. And I just went ahead and dipped him in embossing powder and put him down. And that's going to go right here. On this side, this is a journal card that I made during the live stream last Thursday. And I thought that would be good to go right here. So you can see it on that page. I'm going to go ahead and close this up and not put the journal cards in the pockets yet. And then here's another one that I made. Same concept. Just may have different journal card images inside here. Okay, that's the next one. We'll set that aside. Yeehaw! We have 
F to the third power. Oh, and FF what went. Oh, good job. 110. That's amazing. Good job. Don't you want need until 2021? Yay. Just cleaning my hands. Thank you. That B is a chipboard piece that comes in the subscription box. So it's this. This is the newer version. That B comes in the subscription box for Punked Out Steam. I had to keep editing it. It was too thin. All right, next page. Getting out all the supplies. My Ziploc bag aside. Get my rubber stamps ready. Okay. Aha. All right. All my little elements that I plan to use. Okay, so here is a gel print. This is a real gel print, not a digital copy of one. Yes, I just glued it down. Chad the bee. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the connected gear stencil. I'm going to put that in here. And I had out... This is Pop Rocks, and let's use, this is Frosted Steam, so we're going to shake this up. Yes, I'm currently using the first Steampunk Sally, that is correct. Thank you, Marilyn, thank you so much. If you love color, this is the place to be, Robin says. You, you always thought of it, Steampunk is darker metallic and earthy tones. Gotta say you love the brighter colors. Well, I'm glad you love it, because I love bright colors. Alright, so that is the Pop Rocks, and this is Frosted Steam. I think I only have one set of the last Tattered Angels kit from Punked Out Steam left. I'm going to use some copy paper and mop up. This is going to end up creating our second page that I'll use in just a moment. So I'm going to spray the back side. Set that aside. And I'll set this aside for a moment and we'll come back to it. I'll put it right here. And then move my stencil. Here's my gel print page. There's that side, and there's this side. Uh oh, Julie, it stopped. You had a funny noise. Okay, so now I'm going to put this up here. And I don't remember the name of this. It's kind of like an architectural type stamp. I don't know if you can see all of that. It's a relatively new stamp. If you say what it is, Robin, I'll remember probably. The that this gear is called uh, connected gears, and that's an add-on that you can purchase. That's in my shop right now. All right, so I got this guy, and I'm going to stamp it in this upper corner. Just kind of a diagram. Oh, Mary Ellen, congratulations. You've got a coupon code coming to you. Like Germany House. There you go. <laughs> and I want to make sure I've got this at protecting my spot. I'm having issues. All right, let's go right here. I'm getting too many things on my desk. All right, put that over there. So now I've stamped those. 
I went ahead prior to the live stream and I stamped the keyhole stamp. There's a keyhole set of four. And I think there's even one that you can get just a big one by itself. And I thought that would look kind of cool just over the top of that. We'll put that right here. And this is admission. It's like a theater ticket. I didn't even think it may say theater, but it's spelt differently. But if you put ticket in, it might come up. And we'll put that one right over here. And then, where is it? This was just a scrap of paper that I had left over from cutting up something else. And this is from the label. There's a gear from the kit. This is some of Norella's words, and I shrunk them, printed them smaller. And I thought those would be a good pocket. And then I have another one. This was a leftover piece of black paper that I smushed a Distress Oxide on top and stamped the gears over the top. And this was a scrap from the kit. And then, you know, a little strip and then this is from the kit as well I think what I need to do is this all right so there is my center spot I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down as a pocket honey I shrunk the words exactly you can too all right we're gonna put that right here Glue that down. And I didn't do it on this one, so I'm going to do it now. I'm just grabbing a scrap of paper. I'm going to cut some one inch strips. Not even one inch. We'll do three quarters of an inch. I may only need one. Yeah, I think one will do it. One will do it. One will do you. You're probably going, why? Well, this pocket, I want to be able to use the full thing. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right across here on the back. And we're going to stick down this little strip. So this is good if you have a piece of paper that you're making into a pocket. And you want to be able to use the full size of the pocket. Put a little strip on there. And then we're going to go this way and put a strip. I'm trying to get as straight as possible. Cut that off. And then I'm going to do it on this side. And put this across here. All right, so now I'm going to take my scissors and trim off that edge. I'm going to go at a little bit of an angle there. Do it again over here. I'm going to cut off the corner. And cut off this corner like so okay you kind of see that and then I'm gonna take this piece oh yeah confirming only one left all right not really no printer you can have them printed I'm folding that up And then I'm going to fold this over, fold this over, get rid of the scrap. You want to make sure this is dry before you start using it. It's still a little damp, so I'm going to hit it with my heat tool. Thank you so much, Robin. We're going to give away two journals today. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for your donations. Mary Ellen, Joy, ja Sally, Janice, Robin, Lori, Karen, Laura, Steph, Barb, Cheryl, Margie, and Rhonda. Thank you so very much. 
But wait, there's more! That was the framework rubber stamp. Okay, thank you, Robin. Framework. That was this one. That was framework. All right, so we've got this folded back. Fold this back. Fold this back. And now I'm going to put glue here, here, and here. And when I put this pocket down, we'll have the full width of this piece. So put a little glue on here. Okay. Okay. Ready. Okay. All right. We're going to put that right about here. Glue that down. So I have a mix of some pages have stitches, some don't. We're going to do some sewing later. All right. We got that side. I'm going to let this dry before I put anything in the pocket. So we'll flip it over for this side. And this side, I'm just going to be really simple. I've got from the kit, and I did go ahead and put down some papers on the side, just like I showed you how I did the others. So these have those same, and I may have folded them up, and it's a little damp when I did so, so it's sticking. All right, there we go. All right, so this one's going to go over here. So I'm going to put glue on this piece and glue it down. Oh, sewing cam. Ah, the, li the, the, li the line's left, Lori. I've seen that on some papers where the line disappears. It's something to do with whatever they printed it with. <laughs> For nineteen ninety five, you get a second video. There you go. <laughs> Okay. Glue it down. Glue it down. I do put water in Myeline's tacky glue so it's a little bit thinner and it comes out smoother. Put that right here on the edge. Okay, let's go back to this side and we'll put the journal cards in the pockets. This is from the kit. It's got some little gears on there. I'm going to put with the gears up. Gears up! And then this is a new kit set from Norella that has these, I don't know if they're just journaling cards and they may be I can't remember if they're five by seven and I printed them smaller or if they're the, this size, but I like the hydrangea and the little alphabet in the background and the real grungy out background to it. So I'll put that in there. And then on this side, I've got this tag that comes in the kit from last year, Steampunk One. So we're going to put that, I want to make sure it gets in here all the way. So because I gave that full height to that pocket, this tag is eight and a half inches tall. It fits in there. Now, if I had just glued here, it would be sticking out of the page. If you want it to do that, you can do that. But that's a way to combat that. And then this is the same B, but it's the digital version of that B. And I went ahead and stamped this piece of cardstock with the gears. This was a scrap of a gel print and then I stitched it down so you can see the stitches and made that little journal card. Come on now. Make sure it's not sticking. Okay. So there is that page. And we did it again. Same concept, just a different gel print. And I think I used some different images here. And then this was a different pocket that I had left over. Oh, you know what? I have Voyage Extraordinaire. What did I do with that? I had a little piece left over. I don't know if it's in here or not. Do, 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 do. 
There it is. I wonder if that would fit on here. I don't want to cover up the bird. So I think I'm going to put it like that across there. It's a steampunk bee. All right. Page done. We're cooking. All right, so now we've got this mop-up paper from earlier. And I've got some little bits. So here's where we talked about the thin paper. And when you've got thin paper that's brittle, that tears really easily, you can't really use it as a base. Well, you can use it as a collage element. So let's start with, this is the outside. I'll go ahead and fold it in half. Just so I know where the center is. All right. You're a weirdo. We're all weirdos. Okay, now I need, this is the time. No, it's called tick, tick, tick. I think that's right. Tick, tick, tick. It's got all these different time clock references. And we're going to ink it up. Ink it up. Y'all enter the raffle. The only Tad you ever heard of was on all my children. Oh, how funny. I remember Tad. All right, so we're inking this up. And we're going to stamp it in the corner here. So I'm probably about there. I'm going to use the same stamp and stamp on, yeah, both sides. I was trying to think how I did this. Okay, and I'll flip it into the other side. You claim to be the weirdest of them all, Sally. <laughs> we all have that one weird friend. And if you don't, then it might be you. <laughs> all right, let's put that right here. I think I need to turn the ceiling fan on. It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here. We're not going to do what Nellie says. <laughs> Alrighty. So, we've got this side. I have this piece of paper that is a hymnal that's rather thin. And I'm going to go ahead and tear it up. We've got four little pieces here that we're going to make. And we're going to put some distress inks on there. So, here's your brittle paper. If it's interesting, collage with it. We'll go this way. I'm just applying some distress ink. I use walnut stain because I like that it's dark and I don't have to work as hard. But if you like the other colors, use them. Use whatever color you like. That's what's fun about junk journals. There are no rules. Use what you like. Oh, he, he moved to Port Charles. He's on General Hospital now. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so this is going to be on that side. This is going to be on this side. Oh, yeah. And then we need this guy and this guy. And this will be on the other side. Okay. I'm getting all my elements. All right. So... I have this little hymnal page, and I think what I'm going to do is glue it down in this upper corner. And then we'll glue the typewriter over the top of it. <laughs> he changed shows. All right, we'll put that there. And then for this guy, I'm going to put, this is the rose, one of the gears right behind here. So I'm just going to put a little glue on there. Stick that to the back side. And then I think I want this piece of music right here. So I'll just put a little bit of glue down the edge. That way I can glue the whole thing down and I have it in the right spot. 
You know, if you've ever tried gluing each piece down individually, sometimes it's hard to get it all lined up in the right spot. So I think like that. I'm going to just glue this whole thing down. So here's a way to use those little pieces of paper. Tad the cat is now an attorney. Well, he plays one on TV. You love Google. <laughs> We we play the Google game. I was we'll sit outside and I'll go, I wonder, and we'll say, Okay, Google, blah blah blah, who is, what is, tell me whatever, and then it'll say, Well, this is what is according to Wikipedia or wherever. What do you think? A little collage there. All right, we'll flip it, flip it, and do the other side. Alright, so I've got a key. And we're going to do the same technique what we did with the embossing earlier. So I'm grabbing my Versamark. And you can use any embossing ink that you have. So I'm just using what I have. Okay. Get my little embossing powder. I'm just using the same powder. You can do it any color you like. If you want gold or green or whatever color. Neon green for Robin. All right, and just heat this up. Oh, Marilyn, that's because I've already made a page, so I know how to put it together, okay? So, yes, I do it fast for the video because I already made one ahead of time, so I already know what I'm going to do. So don't be intimidated by the speed slow it down for you and contemplate what you have and what you want to put where mine is because i've done it before and so i'm trying to get as much as i can in for you during this video so please do not feel intimidated by how much time or lack of time that it takes me all right so i've got this little guy is going to go over here i think i can go ahead and just glue it down so we're going to do that I was letting the key cool off so I didn't put my thumb in it. Put that right there. Stick. Neon green cheesecloth. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and if you like lace, you could put down a piece of lace sticking out. That's, that's your prerogative. All right. I think this time I've got this guy. I don't think I want that big of a piece, so I'm just going to rip it and then apply some distress, and then we'll put that down. It's okay to change your mind. That right here. I'm going to put keys up here. Hey, Jennifer! How are you, lady? Hope you are well. Put that right there. All right, and then we're going to put this... Let's put it right in here so you can kind of see her face. I didn't do that on the other one. What am I ignoring you now? <laughs> oh, Robin's ignoring that. Gotcha. <laughs> ah, dear. Ignore them. They just like to pick on you because they like you. You're welcome, Marilyn. Just have fun with it. You know, use what you have. I've already made a page. So here's my other page that I already made. Same concept, just a different image here. Different page that I tore up on the hymnal. So even though I go really fast, know that I've done it before. I always try to make two uh, journal pages because we make two journals during the live stream. All right, next page set. Get all the stamps out. Get all the stamps out. Let's put this right here. And this guy. Oh yeah, this one's this one's where we're gonna do some sewing. We'll need that. I've got some elements here. That'll be my journal card. 
some more little elements. Piece of paper, another piece of paper, key stamp. All right, and I need this guy. Okay, so this one's going to be a little bit more complicated, if you will. And so that we can get this in a timely manner, I've got a piece of paper that I have folded in half. It's from a dictionary. I'm going to lay it down onto a scrap of paper here. I've got, uh, no, not that color, Dusty Concord Distress Oxide, and I'm going to make my own paper color. So if you don't have the color that you need, you've got ivory or white paper, look what we can do. We can take this ink pad, and I'm just going to rub it across the page and change the color of this. I love the distressing pads because it's almost opaque that it covers up the text underneath. It comes through just a little bit. Okay, put the lid back on. And then I have some Tattered Angels. This is just water in there. I still had a little bit of a, a blue tint to it. And I'm gonna spray this because uh, distress oxide is reactive with water so it'll change that color I'm okay if it splatters if it spots and we're gonna dry this oh poke poke nudge nudge it's time for the raffle you love the watch face Mary Ellen thank you in <laughs> ah. Oh, the ice cream truck. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll let you know before I lamb cam. I'll let you know. Y'all into the raffle. All righty. I want this to be dry. Because if it's wet, it's smear. Oh, an ice cream sandwich. Ooh, we have a, a snow cone or shaved ice truck that sometimes travels through. And it has GPS on the truck. So if you go to their Facebook page, you can click and see where they are at the moment. And some people will chase down the snow cone truck. All right, so here's what I do now is I'm going to take this and rip it. And then I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. And these edges are ripped, and I'm just going to use paper cutter and cut it. I don't need the whole thing, so we'll come over just a little bit. And I'll do it again. All right, so we're going to apply some Distress Oxide on there. Him is gone. Too late. Missed it. So we're going to add some Distress Oxide to these edges. Or not Distress Oxide, just Distress Ink to the edges. That figures. He's gone. Oh, I had my paper cutter out. I should have left it out. If you don't like that white area, just rip it back. It's a little much. This is my more complicated page. And I'm doing it in stages because my glue will be wet and we are going to go to the sewing machine. All right, so I'm letting that set for a moment. I'm going to take this and cut it in half. It's a gel print that I made into a digital download. You can get it on my, in my shop. All right, is everybody into the raffle? Isn't it time for that? You were saying nudge, poke, poke, nudge, nudge. So I just want to make sure. And I'm going to cut this at five and a half inches wide. Okay. 
And I'll go ahead and just quickly apply some Distress Inks on these edges. And you're like, what are you doing, Linda? I don't understand. Well, we're going to make pockets to go onto our page, okay? So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put glue right here on this edge. And we're going to take a strip. We'll line it up. Smooth it out. And then I'm going to put glue on this side. I like to kind of check my work. Yep, make sure it's on there. Put glue on this side. And we'll put this strip down. Okay, I'll go ahead and just trim off that excess. And I'm okay if the glue came out. It just gives a little distressed look. So we got that piece. I'm going to set that aside for a moment. I'm going to do this one as well. Okay. Pay attention, ladies. <laughs> Uh-oh. Someone hasn't given a thumbs up. Well, I haven't given myself a thumbs up yet. Here, let me do it. <laughs> ah, you know you want to. Okay, glue this one down. Glue it down, glue it down. Okay, flip it. All right, this is going to go right here. All right, so I want this to dry for a couple of minutes before I go to the sewing machine. So I'm going to set this on my machine for now. And we'll come back to that. All right, so now I've got two pages from a junior legal notepad. Follow? You follow? Junior legal notepad. I'm going to go ahead and grab my spray box. And we're going to put this inside the box. Kind of line it up a little bit. And then I have Wonky Gears. This is the Wonky Gears stencil. So we're going to lay that down right there. And let's grab, now well, we used it already, so might as well use it again. This is the Frosted Steam again. It's almost empty, so I'm trying to use it up. So again, we're spraying on the stencil, so that's going to create a resist. So I'm going to grab a piece of copy paper and lay that on top of my stencil. And I'm just rubbing it to help get all of that Tattered Angels that's on there. And then I'll go ahead and spray the back side. And we'll set this aside and use it for another page. Okay, so set this right here for now. Dry, I say, dry. Okay, so now I have those two pages. Cool, huh? So far, okay, so now. This is what, oh, I forgot what it's called. Basically, it's all the time zones. So when it's this time in New York, it's this time in the other city. You'll see in just a moment. So I'm going to take that and ink it up and stamp it across the top here. Okay, when new at, so I think it's called when noon in London, and then it shows you Hong Kong and Paris, so you're supposed to be able to figure that out. Thank you, Janice. Thank you so much. All right, so this is going to go right here. That was wonky gears. So got that one, okay, and then I'm going to take this guy off. 
set it over there. All right, now you behave. And I want to stamp these keys. So this is a line of keys all the way across. I'm going to stamp that on the bottom like that. I like the keys. We need some distress ink on this page after we finish stamping. All right, that can go over here. And this is from the Stitches stamp set. I like the design, so like hand embroidered stitches. You see that? So there's our page so far. Glue this down. Glue this down. Or stamp it down. Okay, we got that. I'm going to apply some distress inks to the edges. George the Giraffe. Grabbing links and stuff. <laughs> George the Giraffe. Oh my. 50 for me, 10 for you. <laughs> All right, so we got that. I have a Bible page here. I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half just so I know where the center is. Then I'm going to take this page and fold it in half. I'm going to do the same with this one. Okay. And this piece is going to be glued on here in the middle. See there? That was wind noon. Okay, good. Thank you, Robin. New stitches stamp. So we have the shabby stitches and then we have the stitches stamp set. So there's two different stitches stamp sets now in the shop. I'm doing this because I'm covering up the holes for the way this Bible was bound. And it gives a little bit of writing space right there. See that? All right, so now I'm going to open this up. And glue this one down. And I like folding it just so I know where the center is. Okay, so I'm going to line this up. All righty, now we're going to go, yeah, if you place a big order with me, you get a spray box. <laughs> Sewing cam alert, we're going to Sam, we're going to sew. <laughs> huh, did I miss something Julie says? Well, the boxes that I use are 12 by 9 by 3 inches. Now, they're big enough for you to put an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper that's inches inside of it. So we're going to go to the sewing cam. So here we go. Here we go. We're over here at the sewing machine. And I'm going to do a zigzag stitch right on this edge. On all four sides or two sides of this piece four times. I've set it to be a rather narrow stitch. I'm using a standard sewing needle, standard sewing thread. I don't adjust my tensions. I do what my machine recommends for thin fabric. Uh, I don't even adjust any of my tensions or anything on my machine. I just leave it the way that they standardize because mine's electronic. And I like that it has the thread cutter on it. So we just stitched across there. So I'm going to do the other one. 
Squirrel, all right, I know, we got to do the uh, raffle. I wanted to get this sewn before I did it. Flip it and sew it. All right, so we're going to do the raffle. So if you haven't already joined the raffle, please do so now. If you're liking what I'm doing, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Hey, share it with your friends as well. I saw we had some new people, so thank you all for being here today. All right, so we're going to come back over to our main area. <laughs> Say it with me now. Ma! <laughs> all right, I'm going to take this piece and fold it. I'm going to line it. I should have folded it before I sewed it, but I'm going to line it up as best I can. And if it's sticking out up here, don't freak out, y'all. Just trim it off. Don't get hung up on things if they're not exactly perfect. It's a regular zoo around here, you think? All right. Folding. All right, so we've got these pieces that we've created. And they're going to go across this way. You're like, wait. How did you do that? We're making pockets. We're done with this guy. Go over here. And this one will go on this side. What do you think? How are we doing so far? All right, so we're going to do the raffle. Raffle! I'm going to get a drink. I think I need some water. All right, here's the prize. So this is the prize that we're giving away right now on our raffle. I'm going to clean my hands again. <laughs> I get tattered angels all over them, and my fingers get dirty. And I just have some thieves cleaner and some water. You're lost, Jennifer. Don't be lost. <laughs> They're having fun, Jennifer. <laughs> But we'll pray for you if you are lost. <clears throat> so I took a piece of paper, Jennifer, attached a scrap of paper. I did that so it strengthens this edge. So I can use a gel print to make a pocket. We'll glue it down here in just a moment on my page. All right. So I'm going to glue this down. I'm waiting on y'all. Super cool, Marilyn says. Thank you, Marilyn. Let y'all get in on the raffle. And that will give this a chance to dry. Okay. Put it down. I'm going to do this side. Super cool. Hey, Ruth. Got in the raffle. And I want to put glue on the short side, not the long side. And I'll just flip this into this side. I'm waiting on Ruth to get in the raffle. There you go. You got it, Ruth. <laughs> Don't be confused. Okay. I'm letting that dry so I can put my journal cards in it in just a little bit. Okay, the winner of these two little journal cards is, actually it's three because you got this one and this one. I guess I could put them all together like this. There we go. And the winner is Jeanette Wild. Congratulations, Jeanette. I have your address, I'm pretty sure. I will get that sent out to you. All right, so we're going to pick another prize. What do I have here? Um, oh, yeah, we'll do this one. This is a card that I made during the live stream on Thursday, and it's a chipboard piece that will be soon be added to my shop. It's got a gel print in the background. It's got some uh, cheesecloth. 
a rubber stamped image here and then this was a scrap of fabric that I sprayed with tattered angels and it had a print on it so it kind of shows through so we'll do that as our next raffle so reset and we'll go peacock mixed media journal card all right so that's our next prize if y'all would enter the raffle raffle all right anybody can enter we will have one more raffle at the end and that will be for the journals in order to win those you just need to make a donation of any dollar amount remember your donation gets you a free digital downloads or several digital downloads from my shop as well as a five percent discount on my shop oh thank you terry for your donation i didn't see it thank you so very much Okay, so I'm going to take this page and fold it in half and then unfold it so I know where my center mark is. I've got a scrap of paper here and we've got a hot air balloon. I don't remember which there's two of them there's one that's called paris air and then this is the other hot air balloon it's a bigger one the hair paris air is smaller i don't have the paris air physical stamp i just have it in my shop and i've just stamped it on this uh, purple paper by the way you're going to get some of this purple paper say that really fast purple paper uh, in the subscription box i had a lot of y'all comment that you like this color so i found enough that everybody will get some in their subscription box. Now everybody wants 500 sheets of it. That's usually how you have to buy it. It's a minimum of 500. It is a text weight paper. All right, so we just fussy cut that out. Little image. That's going to go over here. I'm going to put some distress inks on it. What is Tattered Angels? Tattered Angels is a water-based medium that you can spray on pages and fabric to change the color. So Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. That's what I sprayed this part here with a little bit earlier. All right, so we're going to glue that down there. And then I think I have... Aha, I do. Flying ship. So we're going to glue that down. That answer your question? It's a water-based art spray that has glimmer in it. Or shimmer. You can get some in the flat colors that don't have shimmer. Those are called Plain Jane, Tattered Angels. But I like the glimmer mists that have the shimmer. So we're going to put that right here. So we're getting an eclectic look of different things on here. You did put on your lavender perfume, Barb, so he loves you. You got 100 junk bucks. On this side, just for spe speed, I tore a piece of hymnal. That's going to go here. I took the Distress Oxide like I showed here in Lavender, I think it is, or Shaded Lilac. And then I stamped the Grandfather Clock and the Cool and Fussy Cut It Out. So we're going to put those here. And then this is from the Clocked Out. There's a set of four rubber stamps. And I use that same purple paper. Same purple paper. I'm going to put a little bit of glue down this edge. And then stick down the clock so I kind of get it all lined up where I want it. And then we'll put the whole thing down. So again, there's another way to use book pages that are fragile is stamp on them, tear them, color them. I have sprayed it on my gel plate, Terry. Um, I haven't done it in a while. Maybe that's something we can do Thursday. I, it, it's a different effect. You can put a stencil down. It's going to be more of a, a watercolor effect. You can spray it down and let it dry. However, it will take a long time 
for it to dry before you put like paint on the back side of that. I got you, Marilyn. All right, so up here, oh, I've got another gear, another gear. Let's grab a scrap of paper again. Let's grab the Versamark. Mush it, mush it. So we did lots of embossing today. I didn't find, I was kind of looking, and I didn't really find a vendor where I could buy bulk embossing powders. It was all one ounce containers. I'll have to keep looking, but that may be something I'll do in the future if y'all want embossing powders. I don't know if that's something y'all want. I do not want to develop it. I have too many other irons in the fire, so to speak. All right, so we're going to heat this up. I'm raising it up off my desk because my craft mat is plastic and I don't want to melt it or warp it. I sometimes, I don't have it out right now. Um, I've got a metal pan that I'll use sometimes. Oh, you got a new gel plate, Terry? Fun! Fun, fun, fun. I love the 12 by 12. Uh oh, buffering, Jennifer. Yeah, we're having problems with that. I'm going to call Cox again. My neighbor has switched. We both have a business plan with Cox, but his kept dropping out so much that he's finally told them, I'm done with you. And he's going with, uh, I think he said AT&T. They're doing a fiber. Okay, so I've got this word clockworks. I think it's cool enough now. Oh, glassy magazine transfers. Well, have fun with those. I don't have that many magazines to do that type of technique with. In fact, I don't even know if I have any magazines right now. I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff. All right, we'll put that gear right here. A little bit of glue seeped out. And let's put... Um, I don't want to cover it up, so I'm going to put it below. I was going to put it across it, but that covers it up. So we'll just put it right here. Cox was one of them that you did tech support for. They're not the same company that they used to be many years ago, Barb, is my opinion. Used to, if you had a business account, they guaranteed that if your internet was down, that they would fix it within four hours. They don't do that anymore. All right, so that's this side. What do you think? Does that look pretty good? And we've got pockets, so we'll put some journal cards in here. Let's flip it. Let's de decorate this side. I think this side I kept relatively simple. I've got a little image here i think that'll be good let's put it right there put that over here and then this is um oh what is it called it's not a sexton or a compass oh try and Mar armilla a r m i l l a try that robin and that's going to go right here. I'm just going to glue it down. I just stamped it on that same teal cardstock. It was laying on my desk, so it got used. And I think I've showed you now that if you don't have a bright color, but you have ink or you have acrylic paint, paint your paper. All right, so there's that. And then somewhere I laid down. Oh, here they are. So this is on the inside. This is a card that I made during one of the live streams a couple weeks ago. This is part of the hot air balloon punk, uh, steampunk chipboard. This was some bling I had. I did the uh, clockwork gear in the background. I did the word journal on here. This was a gel print on the bottom that I used. So that's going to go right here. On this side, I've got another card. I made one of these during the live stream, and then I came back and made another one. So this is fabric in that background that was white. So here's a piece of that fabric. It was white. 
and I sprayed it with Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist, and because it was printed with that white ink, it resisted and kind of gives a little bit of a faded look. And this is part of the subscription box uh, chipboard, and I did embossing powder on it. So we're going to put it over here. And then on this side, I've got a couple of Norella's journal cards that she's created. And I've got something else we're going to put in here, but i got to get it made. So we'll come back to this page in just a little bit. And then here's another page. Same concept, just different images that I used here. And I had a different gel print that I used and different piece of fabric. This is the one I made during the live stream, I think. Or no, afterwards. I did the blue. The purple one I made during the live stream. I think. Okay. We'll set that aside. Now we've got this page. Oh, I lost my piece of pieces. I need my pieces. All right, so I've got another book page here. And I'm just going to tear. And we'll apply some distress inks to it. Thank you, Robin. She's my helper, y'all. All right, last page and then one more project and we will be done. We'll start putting this journal together. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing the mixed media peacock card. That's our prize. This is our current prize for the raffle. Okay, distress inks on there. So I'm getting this in my little pile. I've got some images from the kit that I'll put up there. And in these two corners, I want to stamp. This is the this key collage type stamp. And we're going to stamp it. We'll come down just a little bit, but not all the way. So we get all those keys. Bye, Valerie. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you so very much. You think you can do that? It's not that hard. But it's a great way to use all those weird book pages you may have or junk mail even. All right, so stamp this. Okay. So now I've got this piece of book page or musical music. Put that right here. I'm going to glue it down. Glue it down. Glue it down. Kind of right there, maybe. And then I've got this little bee from the set, uh, the set kit. Robin's busy today. She's got lots of stuff to do. I keep her busy. <laughs> she earns her keep. <laughs> What's for dinner tonight, y'all? I think Julie's already gone, didn't she? Did you go to work, Julie? You still there? This is from the kit. So it doesn't have to be all sepia tones and browns and gold. And leather, it can be bright, colorful papers and images, we think. Go ahead and flip it. And then on this side, okay, yeah. I've got these guys again. I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to glue this. And put it right there. Glue it down. Glue it down. Ah, it's, you got you're not you're not at work today. All right, I think they'll put that on this side. 
I don't know if there's a up or a right side. So I'm not I'm gonna pretend that I have it the right way. And if I don't, oh well. Ooh, leftovers tonight. Bottom brown steak cooked in mushroom soup and onions. Ooh, that sounds really good, Laura. You have no clue, Julie? Still here, Julie. <laughs> I think we're having this we're we're calling it a chicken. I don't know what we're calling it, but it's a rotisserie chicken that he's cut up. My husband cut it up. And then we make cheese and broccoli and then we make stovetop stuffing and we mix it all together with some cheddar cheese and sometimes fresh onion we think it's pretty yummy it's easy all right so there's that page here is another page that i made it's got a couple of different images but same concept key play there it is key play all right one more thing and then we'll start putting this journal together. So I posted, who saw it on my Facebook page, the passport that I made. Did y'all see that? Did you see the passport? Well, I've got this little corner stamp. And we are going to use gold embossing powder, so I'm going to get that out. If I can find it. There it is. I've got a piece of craft cardstock here, my Versa Mark pad. And we're just going to stamp this up here. I'll stamp it twice. Right there. I'll just dip it into the embossing powder. I've got some gold embossing powder here. You make that with noodles. Oh, cool, Barb. Ooh, grilled tuna fish cheese sandwich with watermelon slices. Ooh, that sounds yummy. The watermelon for sure. You saw it? All right. They sound pretty good, don't they? Yum, yum, yum. All right, so I'm going to heat emboss this. Joy's got a boss fight started. Y'all get in on the boss fight. Now remember when you're doing a bossing powder, don't put your face right over it. If I know I'm going to do a whole bunch of embossing, like when I was making wedding invitations or announcements or birthday cards that we're going to have a lot of embossing, I would wear a mask. Uh, one of the respirator type fancy painter's masks because these particles are really fine. You saw the passport, Robin? Well, I thought I would kind of show you the gist of it, what I've made. Oh, guess what? We're going to sew again. All right, so I've got those pieces, and I'm going to cut them out. So I'm just going to trim them. Kind of gives that faux leather look being on the brown like that. All right, we'll cut this one out as well. Put that aside. I've got a mess going on here. I need an assistant that can clean up my mess. Because <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Not till I have to. Alright, so I'll apply some distress inks to this. Oh, good job, Laura. You got 90 junk bucks. You love the uh, passport? Thanks, Julie. Alright, so there's that piece. I have from an oatmeal box. This is an oatmeal box, and I have a gel print. And I'm going to take this and glue it together to cover 
this oatmeal box. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on his edge down the middle. And I'll just line it up with the edge as best I can. Okay. And then we'll just trim the excess off. Sometimes I don't get it straight, but that's okay. All right, so I've got this piece. So we're going to go over to the sewing machine. So sewing cam lamb, and we're going to go all the way around the edge here in just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and apply some distress inks to the edges while I'm waiting on that glue to dry just a little bit. Yeah, what is that? Why are people bugging you on a Monday? How dare they? That's just rude. All right. So now we're going to go to the sewing cam lamb, as they say. Here we go. <laughs> we're going to stitch all the way around the outside edge. Stitch it away. Stitch it away. Sometimes painted papers will stick under your pressure foot, so you may end up with a little, oh, you know, flub up. Just keep going. It's the charm of handmade. How dirty my hands are. So there's my piece all sewn. Goober, exactly, goober, there you go. <laughs> all right, and I'm just going to take this and fold it in half. We don't need this guy anymore, so stay over there. And now I'm going to take these corner pieces, and one's going to go here. So. I'm curling it back because they'll raise up. And we're going to apply glue on here. <laughs> Robin's behind just a little bit. Uh, uh. All right, we're going to put this right here. And then this one's going to go in this corner. She almost missed it. Uh, uh. Now, again, I could have left an edge on this like we did for the other pockets and then folded that over, but this is all I really wanted. It was just a little tuck spot. Oh, I totally forgot to print that. Oh, well. All right, so then I took the passport stamp. Let me find it so y'all can see it. We have a passport stamp, and I stamped it on some of that purple paper, and then I had some of that teal paper, and I made this little piece. The image is from the kit. And then this, and I don't want to stick it in there too soon, but we'll slip underneath. I have to kind of, you have to kind of tweak it just a little bit like that. And if you want, you can add more paper. I forgot to print these, so I'll have to print them. But I've got these pocket pieces, and I've got a couple of tags, so I need to print some more for this set. But that'll go in here. And I think I put, yeah, I did. I put tabs on this so this can fit down in a little better. Okay, what do you think? So this one had a gear and a watch face, and I thought those, we could put one in here and one over here. 
kind of like that. All right, so let me clear my desk off, and we're going to put the journals together. We've made all the pages. All the pages. All the pages. All the pages have been made. All right, put this away. Put the stamp pads away. Otherwise, I won't be able to find it the next time I need them. Clean up the table just a little bit. All righty. Did y'all like what we did today? Oh, you like that, Margie? You learned something, Margie says. <laughs> you learned something. Yay! All right, just cleaning my hands off a little bit. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. So we've got the punked out steam covers, and then I've got some pages here. And I think these two will be my first pages. This will go here and then make sure I got them right side up. Yeah, right side up. Right side up. All right. So let's just kind of look at these. I think that should be in the center, maybe. Or do we like this for the center? Or do we like that for the center? I kind of like that one. I think the sheet music should be in the center. So, sheet music in the center. I've got a coloring book page. I just decided to stick a coloring book page in there. Like this. Maybe the mixed media page there. There, 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 and there. Okay. So I've got 10 sheets or 10 pages that I'm going to put in this journal. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You can't see all of them on camera, but we got them done. All right. Can't spell, apparently. I understand. I can't either. So I'm just going to grab a cover and then grab a page and start putting this together. Sheep music, that's what we say. Ba ba. <laughs> sheep music. It's not sheet music, it's sheep music. <laughs> I like it. This is from the printed punked out steam kit. I happen to have one that was in my stash. You can still get the printed kit. I have a few of the subscription box from last year as well. You can get it as a digital download. All right, so there's the first journal. I'm going to set that aside, and we'll put it to bind it in a moment. All right, so we're going to do the last raffle. So if you haven't already, join the raffle, the free raffle. And then if you would like a chance to win one of these two journals today, make a donation of any dollar amount. I'll be back next Monday showing the punked out steam 2 kit it will be in the shop on monday i got a lot of work to do this week it will be in the shop on monday this will be a fluffy journal all these big thick journal cards in here uh, thursday we'll be back to do some mixed media do some gel printing and whatnot all right Okay, let's bind these together, and then uh, we'll do the raffle, and then we'll do a flip through of the journal so you can see what they look like put together. I'm using a bookbinder's needle. 
I've got a couple of giant paper clips, my little template. So what I like to do is make sure that my pages are centered. Oh, thank you, Marie, for your donation. And I know that the coloring book page might be shorter, so I'm just adjusting it just a little bit. And then I'll use my giant paper clips to help keep everything lined up and together. Marie wants her a journal. Exactly. Got to be in it to win it. I got my little template here. So we're going to punch three holes and do a pamphlet stitch for binding. Okay. I'm using the Tim Holtz Tonic Studio craft pick. I've got a piece of fun foam that I'm poking into. Remove this out of the way, and I've got some wax linen thread. I want to get uh, at least three times the height. One, two, three, and then come back. And I'm doubling it because I'm making two journals. I do offer these book binders needles. I have them as a pair of two for $5. And they are thin but they have a nice elongated hole on them so you can see the hole, but it won't make a giant hole in your journal. All right, so we're gonna find the hole in the center, poke to the outside, pull it through, pull it through. I'm gonna hold that tail and then poke it. Okay. All right, so we're going to draw the winner here in just a moment. Marie, Terry, Mary Ellen, Joy, Sally, Janice, Robin, Lori, Karen, Laura, Steph, Barb Dingwell. Uh, let's see, Cheryl, Margie, and Rhonda donated today. So get ready in just a moment. Those of you that have donated, I'll say it's time to join. Oh, my page ripped. Because this music paper is really thin. So I'm going to move my stuff out of the way just a little bit and I'm going to see if I can get a scrap of paper here so let's find oh you know what I've got this purple paper I'm going to unstitch this because that paper ripped we're gonna unpin it see how that just shredded and that happens sometimes. So what I'm going to do is take this little piece of paper here, and it's going to kind of cover up a little bit, but I think I can rip it. And just strengthen up this. What do I do with my distress? There it is. So sometimes you got to reinforce it. I'm going to glue that down, and I'll glue another piece on the other side. Okay, and then we're going to flip it. Ah, I didn't get it on all the way. Come on now. I get a chance to dry. Come on now, cooperate. It's fragile. Move this card out of the way. And we're going to glue on this side. Where did it straight go? There it is.
I'm just going to put it right on there. It's live, y'all. Things happen. All right, so I'm going to set this aside, and I'm going to look at this page. And just in case, I'm going to go ahead and find another piece of paper here. And I know I saw one. What do I have? Here we go. And I'm just going to glue that down in there, just in case. Yeah, the sheep music was bad. <laughs> bad music. So it's practical reason to glue down a strip of paper. Let's see if I've got another one here. Oh, here's one. I can use this piece. So I'm just going to flip it over, and we're going to glue one on this side as well. I might as well go the whole length since I have one that long. There. So that just reinforces it. I'll trim off the excess up here. Set this back over here. Okay. That should be somewhat dry now. may need this side didn't want to stick come on now stick okay let's see if we can get it all lined back up again and I'm gonna cheat by using my craft pick to help me line up all my pages again. So it happens. Just go back and reinforce it. Thankfully, I had not cut the thread yet, so I didn't waste any thread. All right, I think I've got that pretty much lined back up for the most part. I'm going to go ahead and pin it in place. Everything can be fixed. It's okay. I am going to go ahead and poke from this side because I know... There we go. I didn't have that hole in the middle anymore because I put down a new piece of paper. Okay. So now let's try this again. Uh oh, I dropped my needle. Thankfully, it stayed on the thread. Let's try this again. Don't let it frustrate you. Just keep going. That's not cheating. That's just smart. <laughs> exactly. Just don't don't be don't worry about the boo boo because it's part of the charm. You're using old fragile papers. They're going to rip sometimes. Just glue another piece of paper on it. Reinforce it. Second time's a charm. Yeah, only added love. Exactly, Laura. Exactly. All right, so we're going to tie this off. I leave it long in case whoever gets the journal wants to add charms or whatnot. They can. If you don't want to, just cut it off. All right, so set this aside for a moment. Let's get these all lined up. Make sure that my coloring book page is in the center, and it is. So we'll paper clip it. And since we went ahead and reinforced the 
sheet music. It hopefully will not tear. And we're just going to poke holes. Okay. It's supposed to be imperfect. Exactly. Just kiss the boo-boo. Oh, I almost sewed my template in. Don't want to do that. I can make another one. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. All right. Y'all get entered in the raffle. That was a long delay. Oh, I pulled my thread off my needle. I pulled my needle off my thread. Pulled the th needle off the thread. All right, normally I can see it. There it goes. Okay. Let's go here. There's the hole. Okay, so now... We are done. Put up my tools and my little embroidered junk journal tools bag so I can find them next time I need them. My thread, my template. All right, so let's do the winner. Had to tear it out. Okay, the winner of this journal card is, we're going to get that now, and then we're going to start the last raffle. I'm almost out of water. All right, the winner of the Peacock Journal Mixed Media card is Terry. McManera, you're the winner of the Peacock Journal card. Congratulations. All right, so this last raffler for those who have donated, so it'll be uh, donators only, one punked out steam junk journal donators only. So if you've donated today, now will be the time that you'll go in, and that is Barb, Marie, Terry, Mary Ellen, Joy, Sally, Janice, Robin, Lori, Karen, Laura, Steph, Barb again, Cheryl, Margie, and Rhonda. All right, so if you've donated, now's the time. I'm going to clean my hands again. Okay. All righty, so let's go through this. Let's go through the flying ship. That's what I'm going to call this, flying ship. All right, the flying ship. And here is the first page from the punked out steam kit. And we're going to do punked out steam two on Monday. Here's the key in the background using the funky, wonky journal or wonky gears coloring book page, little tag that comes in the subscription box items, I think it may be in the add-on, one of Norella's images, the page, the pin, and then our little passport that we put in here. I've got to put the pockets in there, so i got to remember that, so I'm going to leave it where it's kind of sticking out. Journal card there. We've got the flying ship in here, a different version. I even like, you know, just the way this looks. You only see a portion of it, but you get to see a little bit. Gives it a little variety. I like it. The keys over here. And then we've got the B a chipboard piece onto some journal card. Some of the images from the kit. Another one from the kit on this little tuck spot. Gel print. 
just a scrap of gel print, which just works out fine. It just looks like it's part of the page, doesn't it? Oh, I need to sign them. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, I will do that. I got my pen ready. So when we get there, I have a journal card here that'll slide out, and you've got all this journal space that you can use. Or you can give it to somebody else and write a letter and put in here. And big clock face. Another journal card here. A little journal card there. A little flowers with the just trying to make a variety of stuff. It's got variety. I really like this journal card. It's so colorful. Yeah, you'll send it back to me to sign. <laughs> I gotta sign the journal. All right, so we're at the last page, so I'll sign this one. All right, signed. While I've got my pen out, I'm going to sign this one. You're witnessing it. All right, put the pen away. So when I name the first person, just tell me, do you want the yellow cover or do you want the flying ship cover? And that's from uh, April... 2019 stencil club this design in the background another flying ship the diagrams so the same pages just some of the different printed elements from the kit signed sealed and delivered <laughs> the carousel horse you need that journal for the steampunk card with birds and gears. Yeah, yeah. And here's the other passport. There's another journal card with the gears. Some more journal cards here. Different B, different embossing powder. I was playing around with the embossing powders. Here's the center of this one, those journal cards. Lots of journal space. This big journal card here. That was a piece of fabric up there. Lori, did you get to see that? Did you go back and watch last week where I made all the journal cards? Another journal card there. Little card there. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. I greatly appreciate you supporting me just by being here. Giving this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends that can hang out with us. Your financial support as well. After this live stream, come back and tell me what you liked most about today's live stream. I'd love to know. Bye, Kim. You take care. All right, we're going to pick the first winner. Tell me which journal you want, and then we will pick the second winner. All right. So the first winner is making sure everybody's in. All right. You're welcome, Kim. Sally, Bob, Robin, Janice, Karen, Marie, Rhonda, Margie, Joy, Laura, Terry, and Lori. Who am I missing? Did I say Karen? Yep, yeah, Karen's in there. Marie Duncan. Yep, and Steph. Is Steph still here? Steph isn't in there. All right, there's an FFA. Free for all, boss fight. Oh my goodness. Lori's in, Barb's in. Is everybody in? I'm going to get a drink of water. All right.
Okay, let's pick the winner. The winner of the first journal is Rhonda. Rhonda, you still here? Which journal do you want? Congratulations. She was the first one to donate today. Do you want the flying ship or the yellow? And congratulations. Pick a journal, Rhonda. Help, help me, Rhonda. Help, help me, Rhonda. Pick a journal. <laughs> I'm waiting on Rhonda. Yay, Rhonda. Oh, my G. Oh, me. OMG. OMG. <laughs> oh, my G. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope y'all enjoyed today. Again, thank you so much for being here. I've got a mess here, let me tell you. It's time to clean up. Okay, I didn't think she was. Ship. All right, so Rhonda's getting the ship. All right, we're going to pick the yellow winner. And the winner of the yellow journal is... Robin Fennessy, Robin, you won the yellow journal. Congratulations. All right, I got to open this up so I remember. I've got to fix this guy. Bad even. Congratulations. Rhonda got the flying ship, and Robin got the yellow punked out steam one. Yes, you get the yellow. Woot, woot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, real, real, for real, Junkie Joe is my new boyfriend, Laura. <laughs> you got 80 junk boy bugs. That's awesome. Well, thank you all so much for being here. I hope you have a fabulous week. I'll see you back on Thursday as we do some mixed media. Hey, and if you have questions, do feel free to ask, especially during the next live stream. And then we'll be back Monday to do Punk Out Steam 2, which abbreviated will be post, <laughs> the post kit. <laughs> yeah, the R has it today. The R's were it. Yep, yep. Y'all take care. Off to paint a chalkboard door. Well, have fun, Terry. Make sure it dries in between each paint layer. Y'all have an amazing day. And thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me. My face hurts from smiling. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing, right? <laughs> oh, dear. Thank you again. Y'all have an amazing day. Lots of love to everybody. I'm going to get off here now. Lots of love. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll type it out. Oh, wrong screen. What are you doing, computer? Okay, I will do, Robin. All righty. I think it's still playing. All right. Y'all have a great day and a great week. Lots of love to you. Bye, everybody.